Hey there everyone, and welcome to today's episode of this Minecraft Let's Play. Today we will be continuing on from last episode, probably trying to build a bit more on the house, and I can't really remember where we were left off, but I'm thinking we'll start off by starting the tunnel down to make our little stairway under the water. So first off, we'll move this bed out of the way, so that we don't mind it up later. But we'll make sure that we have all the resources to make some shovels and stuff, because that's what we'll need. Which we do. So we'll make some sticks. And we'll get going. So how I really want this house to pan out is for it to end up with, um, what's it called, a stairway with a glass cover on it, and for that to work we're going to obviously need a bunch of glass, because obviously you can't make a glass cover if you don't have glass, but we'll place down this bed here, because then that should be out of the way, and how I wanted it, because these were hopefully not going to be here. So I'll just stack this just here for the moment. I was thinking of starting about here. Maybe back here. Clearing these out so that at first you come in, you walk in. I'll move this bed a bit later obviously, but you come in. There'll be a lower step here. You go down turn and go further because the ocean's that way obviously so we'll mine out this a little bit more and we'll just get this going we won't replace any blocks for now so we obviously won't need to but we will obviously do that once we want to make this place a bit better for display purposes so we're going to leave this area here as a landing because obviously we won't be able to Oops, looks like we'll replace that with a bit of cobble. Um, we won't obviously be able to make... What am I trying to say? Stairs that go down a single block and then turn straight away. Or we might be able to, I don't know, I haven't seen anything on that, but... We'll go in here, grab some charcoal. Is what I was looking for. Um... We'll make a few more. So, if we... So we'll get our um, pick. we got our few little torches to light up our way. And I think we just want to build to the point where we reach the water. And then we'll obviously block it off so we don't drown ourselves. <laughs> Uh, so we'll chuck down a torch here. We're not going to be very neat about this. And we'll obviously replace all this. At some point. But. As to this let's play. I want you guys to. Not have an. Well have opinion obviously. But have some input on exactly what I make in this. Let's play. Whether. We do continue on with cool base designs and you submit ideas on what you guys want my base to end up being or if you want, say, me to build massive automated farms for you guys and give you some tutorials on how to do certain things in Minecraft or even I'm, I'm willing to go and try to do some other tutorials even though I'm not the best at tons of games, I'd be perfectly fine with imparting the small bits of knowledge that I do have to you guys to hopefully make your gaming experience a lot better but I'm thinking we go down a few more blocks if we don't hit water we then go straight towards the ocean because then we'll come out and we'll definitely be make, able to make a bridge completely underwater and it won't look kind of messed up um, I'm thinking he is probably pretty good, and we'll do a 3x2, 
Oh, and we found some coal there, so it's really wonderful. So then we can use that for torches. Oh, damn it. But we'll just continue this along, and it looks like we're just about to hit the water's edge. So we'll get that piece, last piece of coal, or second last piece of coal. Grab this last piece. And we'll just see what happens when we dig here. Okay. As I thought. Order. So, I don't know how we're going to approach it when it comes to actually building out there. Like, if we want to go and or open this up, put some signs up. Because the cool thing with signs is if you place them on a block here, per se, they can't get past that block. If there's a block on below that doesn't have a sign, then obviously it can flow through. But if it's all signs like here, 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 and here, the water wouldn't be able to flow in. So, I think that'll be a cool little way to mark where the water is. So, we'll go up here, get to the crafting table, and we're just going to go and create some sticks. And see if we've unlocked the crafting thing for a sign, because I'm lazy. I don't want to have to pull it out myself. So, yep, there it is. And we're going to make, we can only make, we're going to need six. So, there we go. Six exactly. Go to the inventory, grab them out. And all we're going to do is we're going to have to break these. So, we won't be able to place the torches. We go like this, press back. So we don't need to write any on anything on them. Go like this, go like this, and go like this. Then we're just going to get your shovel out. And we're just going to make this so it goes straight out towards the ocean. So we have a straight shot. And we can see what we're working with. Cool. So... If anything, that's a cool little entrance to our base if we ever decide not to continue building that. But cool, I think that's a great start for the underwater portion of our base. We're obviously going to have to make this upstairs bit a bit wider. Because if we don't, that is really going to suck. If we have a tiny little shack, or that could be how we actually do it. We have a tiny little shack up here, and... The only thing it does is, um, what's it called, is that it leads into our massive underwater part portion of the base, which I kind of am liking that idea from how I'm advertising it to myself. It's pr sounding pretty good. I don't know if I like this step though, so just for testing purposes we shall make if it'll show up no we don't have enough wooden planks made well we do for birch but i want to make one of these we're going to test how it looks with a step on that first little lip bit because if it doesn't look really good i'm not going to want to keep it because if it gets my way and annoying like that bed i'm really just gonna not want to use it Looks good. But the problem is, if we do that, it'll be a block down, and then we'll have to make this out one wider and just like place blocks all here. So we'll have to bring this out one more to make it so this has a flat plateau of one so it doesn't look terrible. Okay, so. Now that we know the plans, place that, because this is how it's going to look. So you can just go like this, go down to the plateau, turn left, and go straight down into the water, underwater portion of the base. Okay, well, we'll dig up this bit of the wheat farm, and oh yeah, they get attracted by wheat, don't they? Put that away so that we don't get more critters following us. So we'll keep hoeing and expanding this.
bay, this farm, because we really want to just keep going till we have a full farm set up. But we'll quickly eat our last piece of pork chop, and we'll just check the time. Oh no, we can go for a bit longer. Um, so what do we want to do? We've started that. Got the sheep. Don't really need any leather or anything. Don't know why that's there. Um, I'm thinking we might want to get some, because I really would like to have an extend, extended bridge out to like the middle of the ocean where it's deepest. And for that path, because obviously it'll be really long, boring, and tedious if we have to just run all the way out there. So I want to make some form of transport, which I'm thinking we could go back to that condensed, not the condensed ice biome, um, back to the, the glacier biome, I think it is. Wherever the, all the ice spawns. And we start doing that kind of stuff. And collecting a bunch of either the compact ice, because I think that's what we need for it. I'm unsure. Um, or something else. And we place that on the floor and make it a too high like pathway. And that'll allow it to be safely secured, but also a quicker way of transportation. Because if you bump your head when you're running along, um, you really don't um, like take too long when you jump. So you keep smacking your head and going a little faster each time, because you obviously hit the ground faster and end up getting there faster. Sorry, I'm really explaining this terribly. I'll have to show a practical demonstration at some point. But we want to... I think we want to block this up. Grab these signs. Block this up too. Get these signs too, because we're trying to move it over one, because if you guys still don't understand, when we come down this path, we're going to need to put more stairs here, so it's evenly flat, and we'll come to this plateau, which then needs to go two by two down, and if we were to have it just the two by two how we had it, we'd come down, have the one thin thing, and then go down, and that just wouldn't look very nice whatsoever. And yes, I am being finicky, because I really want this base to look really good. So we're going to do that, and we'll just place some of this cobble, because cobble doesn't look too bad. And we'll just keep building up this, which was sadly a waste of our pick, but oh well, we will survive. fix this up and no, I think we want to come to this block here okay and then we'll get the birch out do we still have the birch yes we do so that's our flooring alternative right now that that looks wonderful so we'll go back in here not there that was the wrong one okay we'll go to this blocks then <laughs> Make a bunch of those, and we'll quickly use the last of this pick to mine out as much as we can, while matching that pattern of the pathway to our left. And it's going to get real dark, awesome. Uh, mine this out. Oh, more coal. I think we're just getting real lucky here. Which I'm not complaining about because it looks awesome. But we'll quickly finish up the water thing how we had it before. So place sign. 
fine, 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 fine. And that's that. Mind this, because we've already lined the left one, and mine the left one out. And boom, we have a form of entrance. Again. Which isn't really going to be entrance, because it'll just be like, kind of like an airlock in a way. But we'll grab, try to use the last of this pick to get this coal. But we're going to run out before we mine it all. Sadly, but once this breaks, like that, we'll make our way back up, make some steps for these, for this bit, so that we don't have to cover every single block, thanks to being perf a perfectionist. But we'll come in, make another pick, maybe two. Look for the, bir not birch, the oak steps. Because we can make more than just what we need. Because worst happens is we can use them in a different project. But we can complete this so that we can go all the way down quite smoothly. Below the bottom. And that's perfect, actually. I like that quite a lot, actually. So we'll mine this. Get these two out of here. Extend this wall back, because I do like having the kind of... I want to say we can move this one, but I f that's not the right tool. I don't know how I could do this, because I want to have it like that, unless... We break down this door, this door, this door. And we have it so we enter one block over. Do we think we can do that? I'm going to say yes. Because <laughs> if I say anything else, we'll be kind of screwed. Mind that. Place that there. For now, because we want to go there. Yep. So, place, place, place. Cool, that looks like it's working. This looks good. I mean, better. Still kind of looks like our house, but now we have a bit of more open area to work with, and we don't look like we're really screwed. <laughs> okay. So we've got to go get that car, oh, that's what we forgot. And we'll meet this up while we're here. And I like the transition from, because I know you guys probably think doing weird, I'm going to have to replace this because that's screwing with my head. Actually, I can do that now. So we'll just quickly make some birch. Axe this way. And we'll replace that. But I like the change from birch wood to oak wood and then I'm thinking we either do not sand brick but a different kind maybe even dark wood if we can find a dark wood forest or something but we do that down here leading to the either ice pathway or just a normal pathway and yeah so I'm thinking that's the best of what we can get done for the base right now till we come up with some real design for the underwater part of the base. Uh, I'm really thinking of not a cage per se, but some sort of like, not glass box, because I hate when it's just boxes, like I've said I think on the first episode, or second, but I want to try to make something, not like an underwater design, but I want to make it so it's not just a box underwater. So I want to either get some suggestions on maybe some videos to look at for underwater base designs. Or if not, some suggestions if you can articulate what you mean. But I think this is a great place to finish off this episode. And leave a like if you like this video. 
leave a comment if you if there's something you want me to build in the future or on what your thoughts for this episode were. And yeah, thank you for watching.